Let your glory. Let us pray to God the Father, who has reconciled all things to himself in Christ. We gather before you, Father, praying for our world at this difficult time. As we pray for peace among the nations, that you will rid the world of violence. We pray for people to be able to grow in justice and harmony. We pray for Syria and for all who live under oppressive regimes or where there is corruption in government. We especially pray for the people of Lebanon, for their emergency crews, for all who have been injured, for those who are missing and those who have lost loved ones. We pray that they may know your peace. We pray for a steady a government in that land. Father of life, make known your glory. Father, we pray for all who serve in public office, in national or international or local areas. We ask that they may work for the common good. We pray for our own government, for our Queen, as we pray for all world leaders and for those in the scientific community seeking medical solutions to coronavirus. Guide them, we pray, with your wisdom. Father of life, make known your glory. Father, we pray for your church across this world especially remembering the church where it is persecuted in so many places across this world. We know that there are those who've lost loved ones to martyrdom, and we pray for them. We pray for those who have little opportunity because of their faith in you. We ask that you guide and strengthen them as we pray for ourselves too, for the work in this parish, for the work in our diocese, and for all of us, that we may joyfully proclaim and live out our faith. Father of life, make known your glory. We pray for ourselves, that we may walk in ways of righteousness, and trust in your promise and your presence. We pray for our own family and friends at this time, particularly those we haven't seen for a long time, and those whom we miss but see on screen. Father of life, make known your glory. Father, for our world we pray for so many who suffer in so many ways. We think of those who suffer from hunger, those who face famine, especially in Yemen. We pray for all who are sick at this time, especially with this coronavirus, as we think of the many in refugee camps and the many, many countries that are facing uh, this virus. We ask that they may know your presence that you will guide us all towards health and wholeness. Father of life, make known your glory. Father, we give you thanks for those who are caring for those who are ill. We give you thanks for our NHS, for our hospitals and care homes. We give you thanks for the dedication of so many staff. We pray for all who have particular needs at this time, that they may know your presence with them. Father of life, make known your glory. We pray for all businesses that are suffering at this time, and for all who are facing isolation or anxiety, that they may find relief. Father of life, 
make known your glory. So we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 